how to customize Shopify origin theme. So hi guys, the first thing that we're going to do is to simply open our Shopify store here in our browser and log into your Shopify account. Now here, once logged in, go to the sales channel in the left hand side of your panel and under that one, you can see online store and go to your theme section. Under your theme section, if you scroll down onto it, uh, you will be routed to this page where you can actually see like free themes. All right, now all we need to do is to explore more themes and click on your theme store or click on this link below that I'm going to click on, all right? Now, it will route us to a different page basically. Um, so here we can actually see a variety of different themes that we can choose from for our Shopify app store. Now, all we need to do is to search on origin themes since this is the theme that we're going to focus on for today's video. All right, now, once we have searched on our origin theme, this will pop out. So basically, it's a stylish theme designed for makers selling unique pieces. And here are some of the features that we can see right here if you scroll down. All right, so this is the new standard in customizability. All right, so merchandising, product discovery, and the likes. So basically, this is like a free theme that you can make use of and you don't have to pay for anything, of course, because it's free and it also publishes high resolution photos as well. Now, if we go back above, we can see our review section here. So as we can see, there are only two reviews for our origin theme. Um, it's like 50% good and 50% bad. Now, we are going to take a look at the demo store first to take a peek at how Origin theme looks like. So basically, it focuses on the branding and how your style um, of your shop looks like and even gives a good to know information about your store. So it builds your store's character basically. Now, let's try the theme already. And let me walk you through the most important parts of editing your theme section or origin theme. So now let's go to our theme library or basically it will route us to our theme library section again. And then once it has been added, um, customize it. And if you have already customized the shop it will route you to this page basically where you can actually um, customize it so here let's go to your theme settings button so this button is the most important part because this is where you can actually um, add photos your background uh, your logo and this is where you can change the font and whatnot so let me walk you through or like give me you an example of how to edit it so for example we're going to add a theme to our um, store then we can click on logo and then here for our colors uh, so for instance we want to change the color of the text inside the button so we can do that by simply select selecting solid button label and then just dragging to the color that of your choice basically all right there you have it now as you can see it has become red in color it's not too noticeable since the color of the button and the color of the text is not um, cohesive to each other now if you try to drag accent one the button is changing its color basically and that's how you change the color of the buttons and whatnot so for example we want to change the background color as well so we can actually do that by clicking on background color right there and simply choosing a color of your choice so for instance we want to have red as our final background color so we can actually do that by clicking on the red one okay now moving on 
to the next part you can actually also edit the font as mentioned again um, so here for our headings you can actually click on headings and change right and simply select the font of your choice now for instance we're going to use anonymous pro for our headings right here and there it has successfully changed click on select afterwards and after that we are going to change the body's font and there just do the same process basically choose for a font and then select on it and it will basically change the body of the font or the font of the body all right there and then we have our layout section um, we can actually adjust the page width by um, increasing the button sliding it right or left if we want to increase it sli slide right if we want to decrease it then slide left all right and there you have it now here we also have our border section which where we can edit the thickness opacity the corner radius by sliding it left and right as well if you want to increase or decrease that certain um thing on your border all right there so here for our variant pill inputs product cards it's basically the same thing um, so for example for product cards you want to change it from standard to card you can actually do that by just clicking on the drop down button uh, it's very simple and easy to use basically now here above you can actually go to the different sections so for instance you want to go to the product section so there it will route you to this page and you can actually edit that one as well in your theme settings right now if you want to add applications then you can actually go to your app embed section here in the left panel so simply turn on or enable that certain app that you want to make use of like for example our course snippet we're gonna make use of that I have enabled it there now next is that if we go to our home page basically um, it will route us to our page now hit on save once you're done and if you are already satisfied with how you edited your page and then it will go back or you will simply go back to your online store under themes we can see that our origin has been customized already click on publish and then publish right there after which you can see that this is our Shopify store okay now this is how our Shopify store looks like and that's about it for today's video guys hope you find this helpful and thank you so much for watching